Welcome to Daily Prayer, a ministry of the Good Shepherd Lutheran Church. We'll be here with you every day throughout the COVID-19 emergency. I'm Pastor Bob Schaefer. It's good to see you. Today is Monday, February 8th, the Monday after the fifth Sunday after the Epiphany. Let's take a moment of silence now as we begin. We begin with a lighted candle. A candle burning in the darkness is a powerful symbol of hope. We light this candle as a sign of our strong hope that God is with us, no matter what comes. The candle also reminds us that Jesus said we would be lights for the world. We're called to live generously and graciously, taking care of one another. In the name of Jesus. Please join me if you'd like in lighting a candle in your own home now. Let's pray. Everlasting God, you give strength to the weak and power to the faint. Make us agents of your healing and wholeness, that your good news may be made known to the ends of your creation. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. And now we turn to the pages of Holy Scripture. Today our readings begin in the book of Psalms, number 102. But you, O Lord, rule forever, and your reputation endures. You will rise up and have compassion on Zion, for it is time to have mercy on her, for the appointed time has come. Indeed, your servants take delight in her stones and feel compassion for the dust of her ruins. The nations will respect the reputation of the Lord, and all the kings of the earth will respect his splendor when the Lord rebuilds Zion and reveals his splendor, when he responds to the prayer of the destitute and does not reject their request. The account of his intervention will be recorded for future generations. People yet to be born will praise the Lord. For he will look down from his sanctuary above. From heaven the Lord will look toward earth, in order to hear the painful cries of the prisoners and to set free those condemned to die. So they may proclaim the name of the Lord in Zion and praise him in Jerusalem, when the nations gather together and the kingdoms pay tribute to the Lord. He has taken away my strength in the middle of life. He has cut short my days. I say, O my God, please do not take me away in the middle of my life. You endure through all generations. In earlier times you established the earth. The skies are your handiwork. They will perish, but you will endure. They will wear out like a garment. Like clothes, you will remove them and they will disappear. But you remain. Your years do not come to an end. The children of your servants will settle down here, and their descendants will live securely in your presence. Now we turn to the second book of Kings, the fourth chapter. One day, Elisha traveled to Shunem, where a prominent woman lived. She insisted that he stop for a meal, so whenever he was passing through, he would stop in there for a meal. She said to her husband, Look, I'm sure that the man who regularly passes through here is a very special prophet. Let's make a small private upper room and furnish it with a bed, table, chair, and lamp. When he visits us, he can stay there. One day Elisha came for a visit. He went into the upper room and rested. He told his servant Gehazi, Ask the Shunammite woman to come here. So he did so, and she came to him. Elisha said to Gehazi, Tell her, Look, you have treated us with such great respect. What can I do for you? Can I put in a good word for you with the king or the commander of the army? She replied, I'm quite secure. So he asked Gehazi, What can I do for her? Gehazi replied, She has no son, and her husband is old. Elisha told him, Ask her to come here. So he did so, and she came and stood in the doorway. He said, About this time next year, you will be holding a son. She said, No, my master. Oh, prophet, do not lie to your servant. The woman did conceive, and at the specified time the next year, she gave birth to a son, 
just as Elisha had told her. When Elisha arrived at the house, there was the child lying dead on his bed. He went in by himself and closed the door. Then he prayed to the Lord. He got up on the bed and spread his body out over the boy. He put his mouth on the boy's mouth, his eyes over the boy's eyes, and the palms of his hand against the boy's palms. He bent down over him, and the boy's skin grew warm. Elisha went back and walked around in the house. Then he got up on the bed again and bent down over him. The child sneezed seven times and opened his eyes. Elisha called to Gehazi and said, Get the Shunammite woman. So he did so, and she came to him. He said to her, Take your son. She came in, fell at his feet, and bowed down. Then she picked up her son and left. Finally, in the book of Acts, the 14th chapter. The same thing happened in Iconium when Paul and Barnabas went into the Jewish synagogue and spoke in such a way that a large group of both Jews and Greeks believed. But the Jews who refused to believe stirred up the Gentiles and poisoned their minds against the brothers. So they stayed there for a considerable time, speaking out courageously for the Lord, who testified to the message of his grace, granting miraculous signs and wonders to be performed through their hands. But the population of the city was divided. Some sided with the Jews and some with the apostles. When both the Gentiles and the Jews, together with their rulers, made an attempt to mistreat them and stone them, Paul and Barnabas learned about it and fled to the Lyconian cities of Lystra and Derbe, to the surrounding region. There they continued to proclaim the good news. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now that we've dwelt in God's word, let's take some time to pray together. I'd like to invite you to pray out loud with me. Don't be embarrassed that you're praying with a video screen. I'm praying in an empty room. And yet, despite the strangeness, our technology is joining us in prayer right now, no matter when or where we are. So in that spirit, let's pray. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Give us the joy of your saving help again, and sustain us with your bountiful spirit. Give peace in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep the nations under your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and sustain me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. Let us pray to the Lord, who is our refuge and stronghold. For the health and well-being of our nation, that all who are fearful and anxious may be at peace and free from worry. Lord, in your mercy, 
hear our prayer. For the isolated and housebound, that we may be alert to their needs and care for them in their vulnerability. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For our homes and families, our schools and young people, and all in any kind of need or distress, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For a blessing on our local communities, that our neighborhoods may be places of trust and friendship, where all are known and cared for. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. And that'll do it for now. Thank you for spending a few minutes of your time with us today. We hope it's been a blessing. Please take a moment to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and tell your friends about us. Stop by and visit us online at goodshepherdlife.org. And please consider making a gift to support our ongoing ministry. You'll find our PayPal address in the program notes. Stay well, be of good cheer, and be kind to one another. I'll see you tomorrow.